All right, can everyone hear me? Can you give me a thumbs up again? Okay, thank you guys so much for being here. I'm so excited. This is our Team Glow weekly coach call. I know we have some brand new coaches on. Don't worry, I won't call you out. You don't have to talk. And some coaches coming back. So I'm so glad to see you guys. We meet every Monday night at this time um, to just get together as a team. There's always something to talk about. We always focus on what's happening right now in terms of current events with Beachbody. And I always like to pick a topic that I think we, we need to hear from. So I am super excited for tonight because you're not going to hear from me the whole time. So all I'm going to do is get through announcements because I have asked three of our coaches who, in my opinion, they've just really taken it to heart what it means to treat your business like a business and not a hobby, right? These three women are extremely dedicated to their businesses. They all have full-time jobs and they all have families. So no excuses, right? I totally get that sometimes it's hard to relate to me. I have been a coach since the dawn of time, it feels like sometimes, but sometimes you look at me and you're like, oh, well, she's just been doing this forever. It's easy for her. Number one, no, it's not easy for me. I work hard every single day. Number two, I understand that sometimes it's hard to relate to someone who does this thing full-time. So I have asked these coaches to speak tonight, especially with the craziness of the holidays, they are leaning in as opposed to pulling back, which you guys, it's just going to serve you in your business. So this is the time. I see so many people on this call tonight and I'm so excited because this is not January. We're not even focused on January. What we can control is right now. So my goal is to be done with announcements in five minutes, and then I'm going to toss things. I think I had an order, but I forgot. So you guys might have to remind me, the three of you. Um, they have prepared a couple things to share for you guys, a little less than 10 minutes each, and hopefully we will have time for any questions at the end. Now, here's the thing. We love interactive calls, okay? If you think of anything, if anything strikes you to be like, oh my gosh, how did she do that? Or what does she mean by that? There is no stupid question. Drop it in the chat box and we will get to them at the end, okay? So please, you guys, or if you just want to send them encouragement, like, oh my gosh, words of affirmation is my love language. So if you're just feeling what they're saying, yes, Sarah too, Give them some, some love. I mean, don't get distracted if you're the one speaking, you guys, but we'll check the chat box at the end of the call. So I just wanna get started with sharing my screen, going over the announcements, and then I am tossing it over to, did we say Heather before or Tessa? We'll figure it out. Okay, uh, let me share my screen. I have it, I'll pull up the, the message, don't worry, where I have the thing. Okay, so real quick, you guys, we're gonna start with recognition and then jump right in. Okay, Heather, you're going first. I was just double checking that. All right, so top tips from Heather, Heather, Tessa, and Sarah as we kick off tonight's call. So you guys, this is, again, Rank Advancements and Success Club. Um, we do this every week. If you have just signed someone today, know that it can take up to 48 hours to show up in your coach office. So don't freak out. If you help the coach or help the challenger, you will get those points. You will get the commission. It sometimes takes a, a minute to show up in your actual Success Club coach office, okay? And if you're brand new, Success Club means that we're helping people, right? We're connecting people with our challenge packs. We're starting the journey of being their coach. So uh, I am at Success Club 18. I've signed three new coaches this week. Tessa just hit Success Club with six, signed another coach. So great job. Heather, Sarah, Sarah Morgan is gonna, officially going to be Emerald on Thursday. They've all helped someone this month. So I don't want to hear that December's hard, right? These people show up and they talk to as many people as it takes to help people in December. And not only that, all those th people they're talking to are seeds that they're planting for January and the new year, okay? So you'll notice that every girl speaking tonight is on this board and that's not by accident. They are stepping into being a business owner and not letting excuses derail them this time of year. So I'm really, really excited to hear what they have to say. And it's, it's not gonna be anything crazy, you guys. Like it's gonna be probably stuff that you already know, but you need to hear, all right? Quick announcements, Bar Blend. Obviously, hopefully everyone knows it launched today. They get the first five workouts and the two prep workouts. They are staying, so we get them as well. I think all of you saw, I think Tessa posted this, that they're actually releasing the full 60-day program one week early. So for VIP early access, it's now going to be January 6th as opposed to the 13th, which is pretty cool. So we'll get everything on January 6th, the entire 60-day program of Bar Blend. We have our friends and family promo codes. You guys, if you're active, you should have gotten an email with three codes. If you used your codes, you got them replenished after December 12th for $10 off a challenge pack of 140 or more. And that includes bar blend. So if someone's gonna get a VOD challenge pack that you need to get them the bar challenge pack and give them the $10 off because they get it for free. And super weekend, it's our quarterly event all throughout the country, wherever you live, there's an event somewhat near you. And if there's not, 
next time you should host one. But typically, unless you live in Timbuktu, there's an event within an hour or two of you. Um, I'm close to the Philadelphia event. I just got noticed that it was sold out, told you guys to get your tickets. But don't worry, if you're near me, you can check the Facebook group because there are always ticket exchanges. But this is a business meeting. Super weekends are a non-negotiable if you're deciding to treat your business like a business. Um, and we're still doing the What is Coaching sneak peek events every Sunday to end this year. It's super easy to do. It's also super easy for you to invite to. It's about an hour's worth of an event. We share four videos and three posts. And it's some, something that you can share with someone if you've been considering asking them about the business or if they would consider coaching. This is what you can invite them to. It's a very easy event, very easy to understand. The posts go up. We leave the event open for a day and then we do it every Sunday. So there's never something that's not coming up that you can share more information about this business. I'm gonna be doing Christmas bingo in my fit club next week. I did it in November and it was really fun. Obviously next week is Christmas. Are people gonna to be totally on point? No, I know I'm not. So I'm gonna make it fun. So instead of daily challenges next week for my fit club, we're doing Christmas bingo. And if they do certain things, they can get bingo and we'll share, I'll pick someone to win their bingo at the end of the week. If you wanna do this, I will share my bingo card in Team Glow. So if you run your own fit clubs and you want to do bingo, I'm gonna share that with you guys, okay? optional to give away a prize. I just think that's kind of fun. And listen, this is someone coming from someone who's been around the block with this business. Things may be radio silent in your inbox this weekend through Christmas. So take advantage of this final week before people are like mentally checked out with the holiday. Okay. It doesn't mean you just put your feet up and do nothing for a week. It means that you understand things are going to be quieter. So you work hard this week to plant those seeds because you cannot discount the days after Christmas, you guys. Shopping is over. People typically get more money over the holidays and do not discount December 26th to 31st. That is prime time to get people started. I'm just saying from experience, you're probably not going to get many people responding from Saturday to Wednesday. Maybe you will. Maybe that's amazing and that's great. But most people are going to be in holiday mode starting this weekend. Okay. So do what you can do. Have a plan to vision and progress. I'm not going to keep this up, but you just have to have a plan for your posts and your stories. This is in the team page. All right, so Heather, Tessa, and Sarah are all on the Success Club board. They're all adding coaches to their team. This is not by accident. And as you're listening to them sharing their top tips, I want you guys to think, are you an encourager? This was shared in the um, Superstar call last week. An encourager is someone who's on every team call or almost every team call or almost every team event. You're there, right? You show up, like you're in it, but you're kind of on the sidelines. Like you are cheering for everyone. You're glad to be part of a team but you're not actually doing anything to contribute to your vision and the team's vision. And that's not to call anyone out. It's just for, int for introspection, perspective, whatever perspective, is to know what you are, right? So if you're an encourager, but you wanna be a doer, you have to make that shift because it's not enough to just show up on a call and take some pictures and post to your stories. It, this business is intentional. So you can be on the sidelines and cheer, but then don't be disappointed when your business doesn't grow, okay? So really look in the mirror and say, Am I just showing up or am I actually doing what I need to do every day to build my business? And they, okay, so I'm gonna kick it off. Hopefully I didn't talk for too long. I'm gonna kick it first off to Heather, but listen, you guys, each of these women have full-time jobs. Each of them have families. So whatever excuses may come up like, oh, but they, no, no, they have a lot going on and they are choosing to make this business work, which is why I'm so glad to hear from them. So that's all I got. And I hope we have time. I will keep an eye on the time, ladies, but I think less than 10 minutes, we should be fine for each person. So with that, Heather, you can unmute yourself and I am gonna mute myself. Hey, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Um, hey, everybody. Good to see so many people on the call this evening. Um, I'm Heather, like Ashley said, I do work full time. Um, I have jumped into working my business um, even more so than in the past, um, probably over the last six months. Um, I just wanna share a couple of things that I do that help me stay on track with where I wanna be with my business. Um, I, I work in a medical office. Um, I can't be on my phone. I can have my phone with me um, at my desk, but I, I'm not on my phone often when we're, I, I schedule patients for surgery and imaging and things like that. Um, I'm on the phone sometimes. So I will have, most of the time I am 
you know, engaged with at my job, but I do have some downtime sometimes in between patients um, or certain times of the day, I do have a 30 minute lunch break. Um, what I started doing is I use the heck out of reminders in my calendar on my phone. Um, I have a reminder every morning when I, so I guess before I go into that, I should tell you, I get up every day a little bit before 5 a.m. I meet my success partner on a call at, from five to six. Then I work out at, during the six o'clock hour. Um, and then I get ready, I get my son off to school, I get ready for work, and then I go into work. Um, I'll get back to the success partner thing, but one of the things that I do during my power hour in the morning is I, is I follow people. So then what I will do is I'll follow however many people I feel comfortable following um, at, during that time. And then I'll just set a little reminder on my phone. It's not an alarm, um, just a little reminder that'll pop up in two hours from whenever I'm doing this. And it'll just remind me and I just put follow. So then I will see that at some point during my day, it could be exactly two hours later, it might be three hours later or three and a half, it doesn't really matter, but it, I leave it on my phone screen until I do it. And as soon as I do it, I just change the time, I push it out another two hours, and then it, the, I do the same thing, I do this all day. So at work, it's, you know, like I said, it's not consistently every two hours, but it's still happening um, throughout the day. Because I, I don't, you know, it's not something I'm thinking about when I'm scheduling someone for surgery, following people on Instagram. But if my reminder pops up on my phone, it's something that I'll look down at and go, oh, that's right, okay, it's time to follow. When am I going to have, you know, two minutes to just do that and follow a few people? So that is something that um, I do, I use my calendar for. Um, other than the reminders, I, I, I have an event set every day at noon that reminds me to post in my stories um, to, it has a couple different things on it, post in my stories, follow up with any messages I got, and um, I guess I think follow people also. Um, so that's just a gut check for me every single business day, Monday through Friday at 12 noon. I don't always go to lunch at 12, but I know it's going to pop up on my phone. And it reminds me, a lot of times I post a picture of my lunch because that's something, you know, and a lot of times my lunch includes um, a shake recently. Um, so I just, I make sure that I get something midday so that I'm not just posting in the morning when I do my workout um, and just in the evening when I get home. So I am still kind of trickling things throughout the day, but I have to have reminders in order to remember to do this stuff. I realized that I was, I was doing that. They were, I was really, you know, heavy in the, in the morning with posts and then in the evening and nothing throughout the day. So now it's, and I feel like it's helping with my engagement. The number of people viewing my stories seems to increase, have increased since when I started, um, kind of schedule, not scheduling them, but reminding myself to do it. Uh, let's see. So the other thing um, I wanted to talk about is workout clips. So I used to think I don't have time to do workout clips because I'm rushed in the morning. I do, you know, I'm on a really tight time, tight timeline in the morning, getting up, doing power hour, doing my workout, getting, you know, ready for work, my son to school, all of that. I don't have time to do workout clips. Yes, I do. I have time to do workout clips because I just do them while I'm doing my workout. So I use my phone to cast my workouts to my TV using a Google Chromecast. I can still use my phone um, to take videos. And what I've started to do, especially on days where maybe I have a longer workout and maybe I do have less time, I just do the hyperlapse setting and I do it while I'm doing my workout. Um, so I'll just take a second, turn it, turn on the video, record for a little bit, and then there you go. I've got a couple of clips to put in my stories. Um, when I have time, especially on the weekends, I will take more time and do a slower clip where I can actually edit it and not have to worry about that. But at least I'm still getting my workout clips in every day. And it takes, I mean, it really doesn't take much away from my workout to take five seconds to turn my camera on, um, you know, and, and do that. So that's something that I used to make an excuse about, and I don't know if anybody else does that, but that is how I made myself stop making an excuse and post a workout clip every day. Um, the last thing that I wanted to talk about was the difference it has made in finding a success partner. So for those of you who went to Summit, you know Sarah Caulfield. She is not on our team, but um, she and Ashley, I think, went to school together. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but we met her, and I um, 
had shared with her that I was getting up at 5 a.m. to do my power hour because that's just what worked best for me. I'm more fresh in the morning, even though I'm so not a morning person. Um, I just, I get more done than when I was trying to work in the evening. Um, so a couple weeks after summit, she reached out and just said, Hey, are you still, um, you know, going, getting up and, and working at five? And I said, yeah, but it's difficult because if you don't have somebody holding you accountable to do that, it's a lot easier to go, Oh, I'm tired today. I can make it up later. It'll be fine. Um, I can get my invites in when I get home from work, but if someone's waiting for you on a zoom call at 5 a.m., um, you're way less likely to, to do that. So meeting Sarah every day and having her to check in with has been a huge shift in my business, even on days. So she has personal training sessions that she provides um, to clients at the gym that she works at on Wednesday mornings. I still get up on Wednesday morning at 5 a.m. Even though she's half the time she's not there. Sometimes her clients cancel and then she can join me, but we always check in with each other on Wednesdays uh, outside of just that Zoom call. Um, on the weekends, on Fridays when we meet, we make a plan for the weekend because we're both pushing really hard to meet our goals, so we're working over the weekends as well. We're not meeting at 5 a.m. on Saturday and Sunday, but we do check in with each other and just say, hey, this is you know what I had planned to do this weekend. This is where I'm at. Um, how did you do? So that is something that I really recommend. Um, I know Ashley's mentioned it before, but it's just, it has really helped me take my dedication just to another level. So I guess to sum up, um, set reminders like crazy, keep yourself organized, use your calendar, um, and find a success partner. <laughs> Love it. Thank you so much. And we'll just toss it. We'll keep this moving. We'll toss it right over to Tessa. So Tessa, you can unmute yourself and share your tips. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. So first, um, I know Ashley talks about it a lot, but your why is extremely important and it's going to change over your course of, um, as a coach. So, um, I know Emily has talked previously about, um, how she didn't think her why was strong enough. So I messaged her the other day and what she didn't know is when I started, I wasn't pregnant. I wasn't planning on having kids anytime soon. Um, my why was I like to travel. So I actually funded my Thailand trip from Beachbody, um, which is where I ended up getting pregnant with uh, Finley, but that's another story. Um, but I told her, I said, do you have a dream place in mind? And she said, yes, Ireland. And I said, that's right, right, Ireland. Um, and I said, all right, I want you to budget out what a trip would cost to go to Ireland flights, hotels, where you want to stay, um, activities you want to do, and put that number up on a board. And I want you to print pictures of all the places you want to go, the hotel you want to stay at, your dream trip. Put that on a board somewhere you can see it so when you're working, you have this visual of what you're working for. Right now, it may not be family and kids and wanting to be home for that. It doesn't have to be to be at home. I didn't want to stay home until recently. Like, everyone knows I was always going to be just – just wanted to have my career. I'm an engineer. Um, and I, it just wasn't a priority until, um, I had my daughter and then now I really want to stay home, but your why is very important. And my why for a while has been my daughter for about a year. However, um, my husband and I weren't on the same page. So I had that why, but I didn't have the drive because I wasn't, I didn't have, feel like I had support from him. So recently I started getting really into my business and I really wanted to bring myself home. So I had a full conversation with my husband and I was like, this is what I want to do. We talked about it. We figured out what I needed to do before I could be home, which is match my current um, salary. And then I can bring myself home, which is a big, big uh, goal out there. Um, but I now felt like I could bring myself home before he was like, no, like, we didn't really talk about what I was planning on doing. He just thought I was going to quit my job and all of a sudden just like try and do this from home without having the money for it. Um, so once I got to that point, then I started working this like a business because I knew that he was on the same page as me and I knew that we were going to work on this together. And once I hit that goal, he was okay with me bringing it home. And once I got that out in, in the open, now it's like changed my entire business because before I had a why, but I felt like I didn't have um, someone behind me to like, for it to be okay. Like, I felt like he was like, no, like you, you can't do that. Um, so that also helped a lot. Uh, the other thing I would talk about is consistency. 
y'all, when I wasn't working my business like I am now, this entire year since I started my journey postpartum, I have always, I post my mermaid juice, I post a couple clips, I post my post chocolate most of the time, I post an after workout picture. Every single day you can find that on my stories. And even like morning meltdown, I 100 days, I did it every day. And if I did two workouts, I did posted two workouts. And you only need like two clips from your, like two different moves. That's it. Even one or a sped up, sped up clip. But every day, almost for a year, since January 1st when I started, I showed up even if I wasn't working my business. I just put a quick thing in my stories. I didn't post every day, but I've had people that I've reached out to now that are like, oh yeah, I watched your entire 100 day journey. That was amazing. And I've had people sign up since I've like done this journey because I stayed consistent. I wasn't technically, I wouldn't say I was working the business. Yeah, I was signing people up. I hit Success Club a couple times. I felt like I got lucky a lot of the times, but I showed up from January 1st, my postpartum journey, I have showed up almost every single day. And if I wasn't working out, then I said, hey guys, you know, it's my rest day. I bet if I went on and I asked people what day my rest day is for my program, a lot of people would know it's Wednesday because I try and stay consistent. And then like last week I needed Friday off. So I told everyone on Wednesday, hey, I'm, you know, normally this is my rest day. This is what I'm doing, I needed Friday off. So I switched my rest day. But y'all, I've had so many people that have said like they watch and like I try and put like week five, day one, you know, and I, I take them along the journey with me. So they're watching and they see me consistent. I had someone reach out to me yesterday. I've been trying to get her to join since I started Beachbody and her husband reached out to me, who was my best friend in high school and was like, both of us um, saw your transformation pictures and we want in, we went all in, we, they got the nutrition, they wanna work together to do this because they've been watching me for the last year and they've seen what I've done. So your results matter and showing up every day and being consistent with what you're doing, even if you're not doing the vital behaviors of inviting and all that, show up in your stories. Um, that has helped me so much since I got, since I postpartum. Um, and then the last thing I wanna say is, working while you have a full-time job is not easy. Um, for new mamas, I know there's a couple on here with all these little babies that are driving me nuts over here. Um, I, going back to work, I have to pump at work. I use my pump sessions for my work sessions. I pump twice a day and then I have lunch. My pump sessions are about 20 minutes. I take that time and I work my business in those 20 minutes. So that's, say, that's about an hour that I get between lunch and the two pump sessions um, during the day. And then I will work, uh, I do my workout after work and post those and then I work at night. So it's literally small amounts of time. Mornings don't really work for me because I have to be at work early and I'm still nursing. So I'm up in the middle of the night with Finley, but um, I do t literally 20 minute sessions. And y'all, if I go to the bathroom at work, I'll take my phone and I'll follow a few people while I'm in the bathroom. Like people get smoke breaks. I get a five minute bathroom break if I want to take it. So you find the little things like following is easy. Once you get the hang of following people, it makes it really easy. And I think Sarah might be talking about how she um, follows to make it easier. But um, anyways, it's literally, that's just, that's what I've been doing. And I've changed my mindset. I've stayed consistent over the last year. Even if I wasn't working my business, I made sure to show up no matter what. Um, and that has seriously helped me a lot because people are watching, even if you don't think they are. Um, I've had a lot of people say like, yeah, I watched all the way. And I had people cheering for me when I did day 100 because I showed them the entire journey. Um, and 80 day, I did that one. I've done it since like my entire postpartum journey. Um, so even if I disappear, which I'm not going to as a coach, I will still show up because it, it shows everyone that, you're, that they can trust you, that you're going to be there um, and that you're not stopping. Even if you're not inviting them today, down the road when you decide to invite people and you invite them, they've seen you. So that's, that's all my tips. Sorry, Sarah, I took away time. Love it, no, I think we're good, we're good. Sarah, I will just toss it right over to you so you can unmute yourself and go for it. Thanks, Tessa, for leaving me a few minutes there. No, just kidding. Sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm a little nervous, I don't know why, so I'm gonna like talk through it. I, there's so many people on this call, so I'm so stoked, like that's so awesome. Which makes me more nervous, because I'm like, oh shoot, now I gotta like get it together. Um, okay, so, what I'm going to talk about, Tessa talked a lot about what I was going to say, so, what, no, cool. So what I'm going to kind of gear it towards, um, I don't know if this has happened to anybody, but I'm currently in Instagram jail, is what I've been calling it. Um, so, hold on, I'm going to change my view, because, hold on, 
I'm getting distracted. Okay. Um, so I don't know if anybody else is like in Instagram jail or gets blocked a lot. That's been happening to me. Uh, so currently, um, I can't follow, like, comment. I can post, but no caption. So it's just like a whole S show. Um, <laughs> but, but that's the whole point is like, I'm working with what I have. Um, and like, I'm just thinking, God, I have so many follow-ups to do. So that's basically what I'm banking it on are my follow-ups since I can't follow new people. Um, and then just being crazy active in my stories. Um, I don't know if you guys follow me, but I've posted like, I've been kind of posting my posts in my stories just to kind of invite people that way um, since I can't really caption. But I was just checking my Instagram and all my, okay, this kind of, sorry, I'm all jumbled. Kind of going back to what Tessa says is like, staying on your journey and having a transformation. I just posted a transformation that wasn't a weight loss. It was just like a non-scale victory, no caption, 130 likes. So people respond to that. Like I didn't have to say anything and people could be like, wow, she can button her vest, which is awesome. <laughs> so I mean, like it's all about being a product of the product. Without a caption, I was able to get that many, like, many likes and interactions. I thought it was super cool um, without saying anything. Um, so I'm jail, working with what you have, um, digging into those follow-ups, sending the bar free workout. That's what I've been doing a lot. Um, and then again, being a product of the product. People, especially at this time, like when people are, you know, busy and probably thinking about joining like a fitness routine in January, they're going to go back to the coach that they see showing up every day. If, it, if they're going to choose between um, like, I don't know, Amy, I don't think anybody's name is Amy, Amy and Sarah, um, you know, Amy shows up one day a week and kind of is like sporadic and then Sarah's like showing up every single day, shakes, products, workouts, talking about her business. They're going to be like Sarah for sure, because I'm fresh in their mind and they're going to remember that. So I always think of that, like you have to be consistent and kind of like what Tessa was saying, even if you're not working out, talk about why you're not working out. Um, talk about what you're not doing if you're not doing something, but like you need to show face. Um, and that kind of goes with kind of like, like leading into all these little tips that I have. Cause I feel like I've talked a lot, so I don't want to say the same thing. So I'm trying to get creative here. But that kind of goes with my confidence of like, I found my why. And so I really don't care anymore of people's reactions. Um, when I first started, I was like, I don't want to follow up with them. She's going to be mean or like say something that's going to hurt my feelings. And so I was always so sensitive. And now, especially with me digging into my follow-ups, I have people that I followed up with like 10 times and I really don't care what they're going to say. And like I've said before, it's like a game to me. Like, are you going to block me? Are you going to be mean? Are you going to be nice? Like, what are you going to do? Like, come at me because I'm ready for it. And it's just having that confidence and realizing like this one person out of how many followers or how many people you're inviting is only one person. If they block you or say no, perfect. I'm going to move on to 50 other people I'm going to invite today. So really, like, I just have that mentality where it's like, I'm almost like, I don't know, like weeding through people, like to find my people. And so, you know, you're going to get, like today at work, all these notifications of like, I, I laughed to myself. I got so many no's like, no, not today. No, no, it's Christmas time. Are you crazy? And I'm like, what are these people blowing out my phone with no's? But I really don't care. I just responded like, okay, great. Merry Christmas. Like, like, so I know they're going to come back because they keep watching me. So it's like, okay, it's a no right now. Like, I'll invite you later. Girl, you're not ready. So, <laughs> but like, I was telling somebody, I think, I think that's on Maria. Um, like you have to invite, you have to take massive action. You can't invite 10 people and then be like, oh, you know, somebody said no to me. Well, okay, that's one of 10. That's probably going to happen. That is going to happen. But like, you have to like, I've stepped up my notebook game. Like Ashley has, I do at least like 20 to 50 invites a day. Like I'm just taking massive action because I'm so close to this goal. Like it's not even an option not to hit this goal. Like I'm going to hit it. And so I'm going to do everything possible. Like nothing is getting in my way. Um, yeah. So I think that all just goes back to having your why of like, I picture my daughter at preschool. I'm like, I want to be there, be that creepy mom parked outside the preschool, like keeping an eye on her, making sure she's okay. And I'm not going to care what this person says over here telling me no, or, you know, I don't need to lose weight. I'm like, you know, like all these excuses like are laughable to me now. Cause it's like, I don't get offended. I don't get hurt by it. Like I have a reply to everything. Like 
I don't know. I'm just kind of like crazy mode. Like this is just like, I don't know. I get so pumped because it's like, I'm seeing the effects of when I started in April of like all this trickling down and like just being consistent every day. I told Ashley, I was like, since we started talking about like this 10 star diamond goal, I think it was like July, August, like over the summer, like this whole time, like I've been consistent and that's how I can explain where I'm at because I showed up every day. I did all the things. I didn't take a week off. I didn't take two days off. Like you just have to show up and like, literally like I carry around my notebook and this every day like this is my bible right here <laughs> like I'm at work this is my lunch bag like I'm like this is what I swear by like that is everything like I won't leave anywhere without this so that like I don't have any magic crazy stuff it's literally doing this stuff every day um and now I'm just taking more massive action because I'm on a time crunch but um yeah sorry I just got like super pumped right there <laughs> sorry don't yeah. so sorry. I love it. Okay. Any, did you want to say anything else? I have a couple of things to wrap up with Sarah, but I didn't want to cut you off. Um, I, um, really quick. Sorry. Um, I've kind of said it before, but I have like my saved responses and that's what helps me with not really caring what people say because I already have a saved response for it. So a lot of the times if people are like, no, I don't have the time or I don't have the money. I just send that response without even thinking about it. So it kind of takes out, um, that fear or hesitation, I guess, at first. So those are always super helpful. And I, I shared them in the team page, so feel free to use them or, you know, obviously like tweak them to your, to your style. But that saves me a lot of like anxiety and time and all that. Yeah, I love that tip because objections are gonna happen. And especially yeah. as a new coach, objections can be like, oh my gosh, what do I say? She said it was too expensive or she said she doesn't have time. But to have these go-to responses that you have created that you feel like this is what I would say to my friend if she told me she didn't have the money. Like that is so helpful because I know objections, especially as a new coach, it's so easy to be like, okay, no worries. Like I'll follow up with you. No guys, we have a solution. And if you don't take advantage of it, you are missing out. Like everyone should wholeheartedly believe that if someone doesn't take advantage of this, they are missing out. And not that everyone yeah. will join after we respond to them, but even if you're a brand new coach, you guys, all these girls have said it, you have to believe in the products and programs and in the community because that will give you the confidence and personal development more than anything else. Um, okay, awesome. Sarah, anything else before I wrap this up? No, I don't know what happened. I, I didn't even drink my Energize and I just got all pumped and now I'm like, my heart's racing. I don't know. I just, I just get super passionate because now I like, you know, hearing Ashley talk is one thing and seeing her success, but like actually living it and like seeing like, shoot, it is possible. Like it's just a whole other level and it just like pushes you harder because you're seeing the effects of it. And, um, yeah, it's been awesome. So that, that's it. That's all I had. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm just going to wrap it up by saying that we'll take a picture before this is all over too, but I'm going to mute you so I don't get distracted. Okay. So I'm going to wrap this thing up. So hopefully everyone here is, I know we went through, there's some chats. I don't think there was any questions, but everyone's like, Emily said, that's why she signed up because she saw Tessa every single day. Um, yep. Lindsay agree. Yeah. So here's the thing, you guys, there is no magic sauce to this business. I used to think that when I first signed up, like, Oh wow, if this girl can go full time and leave her job. And I know that's not everyone's goal, but that was my goal. I'm like, man, what is her secret? I literally asked my coach that what is her secret? And she was like, there's no secret. It's hard work. It's consistency and it's time and belief and not only belief in this business, but belief in yourself as a person. So for, for people that think like, why can't I just get momentum in my business? I want you to look in the mirror and say, how many days in a row have I shown up to the best of my ability and done everything on my tracker that I was able to do and invited. Right. And I'm talking, if you hustle six days a week, you take a day off. That's fine. Like we're human. We need to unplug. We need to have balance and normalcy in our life. But when you're also in a period of, I need to change my situation, I will be in a different place one year from now. You guys, it's hustle. It's sacrifice. None of these girls, I hope everyone got this. Nothing is coming to them easily. They're not just opening the floodgates and people are pouring into their inboxes. They are showing up. Most of everyone that spoke gets up early, works during their lunch, does whatever they can because they have a bigger goal than just the day to day, what they're doing. So it doesn't matter when someone tells them no, it doesn't matter when someone doesn't respond to them because they don't pay their bills. Janet doesn't pay your bills. We just kind of use the word Janet. I'm so sorry if anyone's name is Janet. I don't think so, but Janet doesn't pay your bills. So stop caring about what Janet thinks. 
if you believe that you're putting a message out there that is true and strong and is genuinely going to better someone's life, you have to stop caring about the Janets that are going to say no, because it's going to happen. You know what's funny though? Most of those people come back and join when you're that consistent. All right. We have four minutes left, but I just want to wrap this up by saying we have two more Mondays left in the year, right? Two or three. I, feel, I don't even know. But this is your opportunity to continue to draw the line in the sand. I don't care if you've been a coach for one day or three years. This is your time to say, I'm not going to be an encourager anymore. I'm not going to be on the sidelines and just show up to the calls and get motivated for five minutes because motivation isn't going to get you out of bed at 5 a.m. if that's what you need to do. Your why, which again, will shift over time in this business, will get you out of bed, will get you to choose your business when that thing of Netflix is burning a hole in your pocket. It will get you to sit down with your family and say, listen, I'm going to work extremely hard for the next couple of months because I need to get this business off the ground. I care about you. Let's set non-negotiable family time, but I need your support. You guys, as a type A Enneagram three, I don't like asking for help. I had to ask my husband to start helping me with my follows. I had to ask him to start watching our daughter more because we are able to stay home with her. And he does it because this business provides the life that we can. I'm sitting here in Alabama for the next week because we were spending time with my in-laws. My husband doesn't have to work full time because of this business and we can travel freely. You guys, that is such a freeing feeling to me because I used to felt, feel like I was in jail with my corporate job. I could, had 10 vacation days a year and that was it. And to me, that was not for me. That was not the life I wanted to live. Okay. That was this, that this is my journey. This is my journey of being my own boss and being responsible for my work and then being able to leave and go travel and be with my family because time is the only thing that you have. At the end of your life, we're not going to care about the people that told us no or whatever. We're going to look back and say, did I spend time with the people that I loved and did I do what I wanted to do? And you guys, if your drive was like mine, you will do anything to have that freedom because every day that goes by, I don't care if I had a great day, bad day, if I had 10 coach cancellations, every day that I can look at my daughter and say, I'm here. Let's go to lunch. Let's go to drop you off at preschool. Let's go pick you up. That's my desire. And that is my why. And I will fight for her every hour of every day. That's why I'm here every day. That's why I've shown up 360 whatever days it is, just like you hear all these other, the other three women share that they've shown up consistently. That's what drives us, you guys. It's our family. It's people we care about. It's the ability to travel. Your why is going to drive you in this business. And we have less than a minute, so I'm going to go. Uh, we need to take our quick pictures. I'm going to end the recording now. So if you are new to this call, hang on.